A very special thank you to EA Respawn and the EA Game Changers program for inviting me out to capture some early footage of Apex Legends Season 9. Got the banner. Let's bring them home. Snag the banner. Never leave your wingman. Wings up. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing some more early footage of Apex Legends Season 9. This time I'm going to be taking you on a little tour, okay? A virtual tour, if you will. You and I together, alright? We're going to Olympus and we're going to check out Icarus, the newly added POI on Olympus. And we're going to be doing this while playing Valkyrie. So if you haven't seen any sort of Valk gameplay, you're going to be able to see it now. So uh, just as we're starting, you're already seeing Valk's passive ability, alright? This is one of, I think, three passive abilities that she has. Uh, so while she's flying, whether it's from a, a redeploy, from a balloon, her ultimate, or landing right there, just like flying it at the start of a game, you can see enemies while you're flying which is really really cool now uh, as we move to the front of Icarus you're gonna find this vault and this vault requires a bridge key to access this is similar to the vaults that you would see on World's Edge you know the two vaults that you have at World's Edge actually is there three there might even be three on World's Edge uh, anyways on World's Edge you have vaults this is the equivalent of that on Olympus now you need to find these key cards these key cards are really really hard to find basically there's gonna be a bunch of dead scientists that you'll find in Icarus you're gonna see one right here we stumble on one very shortly here so the idea is that these dead scientists have these key cards on their body unfortunately it's random so it's not like every single one of these bodies is gonna have a key card to access that vault you're gonna have to get lucky find the right body and get the key card so shortly we're gonna stumble on one of these bodies it's just on our right here so these are what the scientists look like they're, they're creepy looking buggers, I'll tell you that. Creepy looking buggers, but uh, one of these guys is going to have a key card for us, and then we're going to walk into the vault. So uh, as we move around, we're going to keep looking for one of these key cards, and just like that, we got lucky. We saw it through saw it through the grate in the, in the staircase there, so another one. So they're floating around all over the place. There's scientists like that, they're all over this place, and sometimes they're kind of tough to see. They kind of blend in, so... Uh, we're gonna jetpack our way over there. That is going to be another passive ability for Valkyrie But we'll talk about that very shortly here. We're gonna get into the vault first Okay, so just like on world's edge when you open the vault, it's gonna be filled with really really good loot uh, We got a little unlucky when when I showed this off to you the only gold item in here was a hop-up Unfortunately, so uh, that was uh, not a very good showing of it if I'm being honest with you But there is a lot of really good loot in here. I was only able to play Olympus. I think three times and uh, the entire lobby, all the content creators, we all landed here. So it was uh, it was tough to get a good look at it when everybody was trying to do it at the same time. But uh, yeah, when I, every time I did see it, there was actually like a ton of gold stuff in there. So uh, just to show you guys the, the landscape around Icarus too, and just so you can kind of get like an idea of where we are. As we move out, we're going towards Bonsai. So we're leaving Solar Array and we're going to Bonsai. If you remember the old map where we're standing right now, we would actually be going going down a hill and we'd be going towards those two houses so this whole area was completely empty completely empty there wasn't very much to look at and uh, now it's completely filled with this brand new area which is great because it's so big and there's so many areas to fight like I, this whole bottom area makes for some pretty awesome battles like you can fight down here and it is super super fun and it was really cool to navigate down here with Valk now I want to add this in here okay so while I was playing I just thought of this on the spot you want to change this new setting jetpack control when you start the game it's gonna be on toggle you're gonna want to change it over to hold when you change it from toggle to hold you can do this cool little jetpack bunny hop thing which I show here very shortly uh, you can like 
It's, it's like a little movement tech, right? And it makes it easier to wall jump, too. I found when it was on toggle, I would get stuck just wall jumping all the... Or I would mess up my wall jumps, basically. So uh, I would fly instead of wall jumping. So that's a pretty good setting to make sure you change when Season 9 goes live. Uh, also, you're going to see on the right side, there's that green bar that's going up. That is your fuel, okay? That is your fuel. So you can't just infinitely fly with Valk. There is a cooldown to it. Um, uh, I did say there was three passives with Valk, right? So we talked about... The flying in one where you could see people flying in. We talked about the flying herself. And she can also scan beacons. Just like Crypto and Bloodhound and Pathfinder. So she's got a lot going on, man. I think she's going to be really, really strong and competitive. Especially with her ultimate. The redeploy is real crazy. So uh, a little bit more exploration, though. Checking out the entirety of Icarus. And, it's just, you know, this is a massive place. There's a ton to show. It's really cool, too, man. Like, I love the whole idea, the concept of the roots and all this. Like, it's unlike anything we've ever seen before, so uh, it's really cool. Another scientist right there, goofy-looking guy. I can't... Why did they make him look so weird-looking? I don't know. Anyways, though, this is going to be Valkyrie's tactical. As you go up in the air, you can shoot these rockets at people. You can do it from the ground, too, but it's definitely better if you go up and shoot them down at an enemy. Now, they don't do very much damage. They don't do very much damage, but they stun you like an arc star. So, uh, if somebody gets hit by that, they're basically a free kill for you. It's, it's pretty lethal. It's pretty lethal. But uh, I think it's pretty balanced because it doesn't do a ton of damage. So now as we move through Icarus, like there's a lot that changed around it as well. So unfortunately in the video, I'm only running through the ship. But surrounding areas, like in the back of it, towards the sides, like there's a lot of different changes, more loot to be had, and ultimately just good changes for Olympus. I don't know about you guys, but I find that my Olympus games, like they die really, really fast. Like first zone closes, and there's like three or four squads left almost every single game. So adding this POI is gonna, it's gonna make that a little bit better. Now this is Valkyrie's ultimate. When you pop the ultimate, your teammates can latch onto you, and then the three of you can redeploy. Your trigger button is on the right side. It said burn. You click R2 for me it's R2. For you, I don't know if you're a mouse and keyboard player, it might be left click, I'm not sure. But uh, you hit your trigger button and you go fly and you redeploy. This is going to be crazy for competitive, man. I'm not a competitive player myself. I don't play in tournaments or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I'm a happy spectator. I'm a happy spectator. But I think this is going to make for uh, some really cool competitive Apex. One thing I am interested in seeing, though, is how her ultimate's going to play out on King's Canyon. Because King's Canyon is a pretty small map and you redeploy pretty high. You know, you combine that with all the redeploys that are on the map already. Ah. I don't know how that one's going to play out. It's going to be interesting to see, but regardless of how it plays out, Valkyrie is a lot of fun. Her kit is really, really good. She's going to be a strong legend that's fun to play, and ultimately, I think that's all that really matters, you know, is that she's fun to play. Uh, I think you guys are going to have a blast when she goes live in Season 9. So that is Olympus. That was Valkyrie, and in the previous videos, if you haven't seen already, we did go over all of the arena stuff. We went over the bow check bow, so uh, I think for the most part, we have covered the bulk of Apex Legends Season 9. There's a, there's a bunch of little small things that are going to be coming. Balance changes across the board to Legends, weapons, and everything like that. So hey, if you're new around here and you like Apex Legends content and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we upload gameplays all the time over here. Uh, we're going to be covering Season 9 like crazy. We're going to be playing arenas. We're going to be playing the BR. We're going to be all over the place. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little bit about Apex Legends Season 9. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.